इसलिए हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल एस ए पी एस डी एंड अबैप लीग सपोर्ट इट इज कंटिन्यूशन सीरीज ऑन एस ए पी एस डी रियल टाइम सिनारियोस आई हैव ऑलरेडी पब्लिश सेवरल वीडियोस ऑन एस ए पी एस डी रियल टाइम सिनारियोस आई विल प्रोवाइड यू द प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज चेक आउट दैट Now let's get started. In our previous uh, real-time scenarios, we discussed about how the pricing date in order can be updated as con confirmed schedule line delivery date. However, during invoice creation time, business had different requirement so before we we'll discuss about business requirement let me tell you that during creation of an invoice the pricing date will be copied from order to invoice only so in vbkd table we have that a prsdt field is there so that same value will be transferred to vb rp pr sdt so the pr sdt field is same in both vbkd and vbrp so this vbkd data will be transferred to vbrp pr sdt so this is how the basic standard behavior will work but here business is saying that no 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 i don't want to copy the pricing date from order to invoice i want to determine the different pricing date for different billing type and based on different sales area combinations so whenever those criteria has been satisfied then business expecting that they need to determine different pricing date in the invoice so if you see this uh, table so business want to have the pricing date determined based on different criteria like uh, sales area billing type transaction group pricing procedure so based on these combinations they want to determine the pricing date here right billing type is f2 only but based on different sales areas see the first one is distribution channel is 3 and wi1 and 2 here they are expecting as c and in case of wi2 eight channel and two division and f2 billing type they are expecting c again in case of wi3 two and two and f2 they are expecting six as a pricing date right so different sales areas and different billing types they want different pricing date should be determined okay so what does it mean c 6 1 2 okay if you see here if it is a blank if it is a blank then refer sales order right so see vbkd pr sdt and if they mention one in the custom table for any combination then today's date will be determined as a pricing date and if it is two it's a delivery date lkp lfdat if it is three actual goods issue date lkp wdat and score ist and uh, similar way it is for loading five means planned goods issue six means shipment like that and nine means pod and uh, c means actual goods issue plus cmd pricing date right so let me log into the system
so <clears throat> what i mean to say here is that for example there's a custom table okay please assume that this is a custom table so in the custom table business want to have this values how they can get this value right so if i put a put a um, cursor here you see there's an icon this is a for help okay Either you can click on this icon or you can press F4 in the keyboard. Either way, same. Okay. So if I click F4, then they want to see these values there. Therefore, they can select these values and save the changes to the combination of sales area billing type. So, <clears throat> so they need to maintain this. Anyways, Abhaper will develop this and. Uh, they will bring these values into the F4 help. So this is a simple and uh, different pricing date determination requirement from business into the different F2 or different other billing types as well. Right? Yeah, so then where we should write the code? The code can be written in different places so let me tell you one place if it is a delivery related building right then in the copy control vtfl transaction vtfl means delivery related building copy control slash n vtfl It is loading. Okay, so let it load. Uh, there is a one routine called three. Okay. So in this three routine, code can be written. Okay, it's open now. Search for billing type is F2, delivery type is ELF. And double click here. Okay, see here, the required number three. Just open this source code for this routine. Okay, let me tell you one more thing here. And okay, let me open the item category 10. Okay, let me look for 10, double click on 10. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, this is the routine LV60. I'm just confused one sec. Uh, might be single invoice. Yeah, that's the routine. So in this routine, it's a requirement routine three. Okay, I mean the copy control routine. Here we can write the code by calling this custom table by passing all the parameters. So what parameters that we need to pass to the custom table? We need to pass sales area billing type, transaction group, pricing procedure. If required entry has been maintained in this table, then we're expecting that pricing date should be, C should be determined. C means it should be actual goods issue plus CMD pricing date. This is one place. Another place is that there is a one uh, include is there, RV 60 EIFZC. Here we have that uh, user exit 
user exit fill will be rk will be rp let me show in the system c38 rv 60 af zc this include contains lot of user exits okay so our user exit is that this one user exit fill vbrk vbrp so we can't straight away write the code here okay let me show you that i am trying to change this one currently it is display mode let me try to change it see it's asking for access key right if you are writing any code in standard code then it will ask you for access key if you don't have access key there's another way we can write the code by you doing the implicit enhancements okay in the implicit enhancements we can write our logic here as well right so remember these two programs where we can write our custom logic to determine the pricing date as per the custom table config wise okay fine then that's for this video bye now we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone